Set number 24 for our 10 items, CSE related mathematics. Number one, Joe gave one half of his sandwich to Ed at lunchtime and ate one third of it himself. How much of the sandwich did he have left? First, he add nothing and then, let's find the least common denominator nitong dalawa, one half at saka si one third. Ang least common denominator nila ay six. So six divided by two equals 3, 3 times 1 equals 3. Tapos yung isa, 6 divided by 3 equals 2, 2 times 1 equals 2. Ngayon, ito yung binigay niya kay Ed, yung 1 half. Ito yung equivalent ng 1 half. Next, ito yung 1 third na kinain niya. 1 third sa whole mismo, hindi yun siya 1 third na 1 third sa half niya. So, 1 third sa sa buong sandwich. So, ito na yung one-third sa buong sandwich. I-add natin yan. Kasi ito yung binigay niya kay Ed, ito naman yung kinain niya. Kung i-add natin yan, and this is, kopyahin lang yung denominator na 6, and this is 3 plus 2 equals 5. Bali, 5 over 6. Yung nakain nila pareho. So, ang one whole is equivalent to 6 over 6. Kasi yung 6 over, bakit 6 over 6? Kasi ipariho natin ang denominator. I-minus natin si 5 over 6 dyan. Kasi ito yung sa kanilang dalawa. At ito yung kabuuhan. So, kopyahin lang ang denominator na 6. Ngayon, pwede na tayo mag-deduct. 6 minus 5 equals 1. Ito na yung sagot. At ito na yung na tira. Letter A. Para mas lalong maintindihan lang, Gawin natin ganito, mag-drawing tayo ng uh, sandwich. So, ito na yung sandwich at i-divide natin ng anim. Lagyan muna natin ng number para mas klaro lang. Tapos, ito yung half ang binigay kay Ed. At ito naman yung one-third. Kasi, yan, one, two, three. So, ito yung one-third. So, ang natira, ito na lang siya. At yan, ang equivalent niyan ay 1, 6. Number 3. Kathy and her family ordered a pizza for dinner and ate three-fourth of it. The next day, Kathy ate one half of what was left over for lunch. What fraction of the original pizza did Kathy eat for lunch? Three-fourth daw ang kinain nila on the first day. So, Kung 3 fourth, ibig sabihin, ang leftover niya for the next day is 1 fourth. The next day, Kathy ate one half of what was left over. Ito yung leftover nung isang, yung a day before. So, one fourth of one half is what? Bali, ni rephrase lang natin yung question. One fourth of one half is what? One fourth. Of means multiplication, tapos one half is means equals. I multiply lang natin yan, and the answer is one eight. Ulitin ko para mas lalong maintindihan. Bali, parang reading comprehension lang yan. Kathy and her family ordered a pizza for dinner and ate three fourths of it. Bali, four over four, yan yung one whole ng pizza. Minus 3 fourth, mayroon ka ng 1 fourth na natira. Yang natira na 1 fourth, the next day, Kathy ate 1 half of what was left over. 1 half of what was left over. Kung i-rewrite natin yan, 1 half of 1 fourth na left over is what? So, pareho lang yan, 1 fourth of 1 half is what? So, one half of one fourth. 
Bali, itong of, multiplication yan. Tapos, i-multiply mo lang si one-fourth at saka si one-half. So, mag-multiply tayo ng numerator to numerator and that is one. Four times two equals eight. So, one-eight ang answer. Another way para mas lalo pang maintindihan ito, gawa tayo ng i-drawing na lang natin. Bale, ito yung three-fourth. One, two, three. Hatiin sa apat at ito yung three-fourth. Yan yung kinain the first day or yung dinner nila. The next day, half nito ang kinain niya. So, half niyan. Ang tanong, ito daw kinain niya sa lunch. Ano daw portion siya sa pizza? So, ang gagawin natin ay i-divide ang pizza na kasing laki nitong kulay green natin ngayon. So, ang kasing laki niyan ay ito, 1, tapos half nito, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, kung itotal mo yan, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Isang portion. So, isang portion ng walong hati. 1 over 8. So, ang answer ay letter A. Number 4. Molly needs 5 8 of a cup of diced onion for a receipt. After chopping all the onion she has, Molly has 3 fourths of a cup of chopped onion. How much more chopped onion does she need? Bali, kailangan niya ng 5 over 8 na cup of onion. Ang meron siya ay 3 over 5 pa lang. Ang tanong, how much more chopped onion does she need? I-minus muna natin yan. Ilan ba ang kulang natin? So, kung mag-minus tayo ng fraction, dapat yung denominator natin ay pareha. So, i-convert muna natin siya. So, ang least common denominator niyan ay 40. 40 divided by 8 equals 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. Minus 40 divided by 5 equals 8. 8 times 3 equals 24. So, pwede na natin siyang i-minus. 25 minus 24 equals 1. Tapos, kopyahin lang ang denominator na 40. Kaya, ang sagot dito, how much more chop onion does she need? Kailangan lang niya ng 1 over 40 na cup or 1 over 40 of a cup of onion. Letter C. Intindihin niyo lang yung given para makuha niyo yung tamang sagot. Number 5. Hans has 5 and 1 half pounds of sugar. He wants to make cookies for his son's kindergarten class. The cookie receipt calls 2 third pound of sugar per dozen. How many dozen cookies can he make? Ang gagawin natin ngayon ay mag-divide. 5 and 1 half divided by 2 third. Kung mag-divide tayo, pareho lang sa mga multiplication, dapat itong mixed number na to, gawin muna natin improper fraction. 2 times 5 equals 10. 10 plus 1 equals 11. 11 over 2. Ang division maging multiplication at itong divisor natin na 2 over 3, mag ang reciprocal niya. Ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. 11 times 3 equals 33. 2 times 2 equals 4. Si 33 over 4, i-convert na natin. And this is how many 4 ba sa 33? 8. Then, 32. So, 1 over 4. So, answer dito ay 8 and 1 fourth. Letter C. 8 and 1 fourth dozen of cookies. Ulitin ko lang ha para mas klaro. Hans has 5 and 1 half pounds of sugar. Yan yung stack niya. Tapos, 2 third pound of sugar Per dozen. Kaya, i-divide natin ito sa two-third. So, ganito ang pag-divide. Ang answer dito, yan na yung mga magawa nating dozen of cookies. Eight and one-fourth. Kaya, letter C ang sagot. Number six. John bought two pounds of butter to make cookies. If he used one-half of a pound for chocolate chip cookies, one 
eighth of a pound for peanut butter cookies and two-third of a pound for sugar cookies. What part of the original pounds is left? I-add muna natin itong mga fraction na ito. So, one-half, kasi ito yung mga nagamit niyang mga butter. I-add natin. Ngayon, paano tayo mag-add ng fraction? Dapat yung denominator natin ay pareho. Hanapan natin ng least common denominator. So, ang least common denominator nitong tatlo ay 24. Again, mayroon tayong separate na video on how to find the least common denominator. Ilagay ko ulit dyan sa description. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 12 times 1 equals 12. Okay. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. 8 times 2 equals 16. So, ang equivalent ng 1 half ay 12 over 24. Ang 1 eighth ay 3 over 24. Ang 2 third ay 16 over 24. So, pariho na sila ng denominator. Kopyahin ang denominator na 24. I-add ang mga numerator. 12 plus 3 equals 15. 15 plus 16 is equals to 31. So, 31 ang nagamit. I-deduct natin sa 2 pounds. 2 minus 31 over 24. So, ngayon, ang equivalent ng 2 ay 48 over 24. Kasi, 24 man ang least common denominator nitong dalawa. Kung i-divide mo 48 divided by 24, and that is 2. So, ang 2 ay equivalent ng 48 over 24 minus 31 over 24. So, kopyahin lang ang denominator na 24 Tapos, ito lang ang i-deduct mo, 48 minus 31, and that is 17. So, ang sagot dito ay 17 over 24, letter C. Ulitin ko lang para mas lalong maintindihan. Ito yung nagamit niya. Yan yung i-add mo. Kung mag-add tayo ng fraction, dapat pareho yung mga denominators. Yan yung pinatawag na least common denominator. So, ito na yung equivalent. Ngayon, pwede na natin i-add. Kopyahin lang si denominator na 24. Kung i-add natin itong tatlo, that is 31. So, ang nagamit lahat ay 31 over 24. I-minus lang natin sa 2. Ang tanong dito kasi, what part of the original 2 pounds is left? So, yung 2 minus yung nagamit, yan na yung sagot. 17 over 24. Number 7. Vonda is making a mosaic. Each tiny piece of glass in the artwork is 1 and 1 fourth inches by 1 and 3 8 inch. What is the area of each piece? Area equals length times width. So, bali, ito na yung given. So, i-multiply mo lang si 1 and 1 fourth at saka yung 1 and 3 8. Pag mag-multiply tayo, pareho din sa pag mag-divide tayo, dapat yung mixed numbers natin ay i-convert muna natin ng improper fraction. So, ang proper fraction nito ay 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 plus 1 equals 5. So, 5 over 4 times 8 times 1 equals 8. 8 plus 3 equals 11. Ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. 5 times 11 equals 55. 4 times 8 equals 32. So, we convert natin itong improper fraction na to into mixed number. So, this is 32 and that 1 and this is 23 over 32. So, the answer here is 1 and 23 over 32 square inches. Letter A. Number eight, Dan purchases six and one half pounds of potato chips for a party. If there are a total of eight people at the party, how many pounds of chips does each person get? So, I divide mo lang si six and one half divided by eight. So, kung mag-divide tayo itong mixed number natin, i-convert muna natin into improper fraction. Two times 6 equals 12, 12 plus 1 equals 13, so 13 over 2. Itong 
division maging multiplication at si 8 ang reciprocal niya ay 1 over 8. Na pwede na tayong mag-multiply. This is 13. This is 16. So, ang answer dito ay 13 over 16 of a pound, letter A. Number 9. Marilyn has 17 and 3 fourth feet of wallpaper border. Each of the four walls in her bathroom is 9 feet long. How much more wallpaper border does Marilyn need? 9 feet. I-multiply muna natin ng 4. That, that is 36. Next natin gagawin ay mag-deduct tayo. 36 minus. Kasi ito lang yung meron siya. 17 and 3 fourth. So, itong fraction, magbaro muna tayo ng isang whole number sa 36. So, ang 36 maging 35. Ang fraction natin dito ay 4 over 4. 4 over 4 is equals to 1. Kasi, kasi dapat pareho sila ng denominator. So, 17, 3, 4. Ngayon, pwede na natin i-deduct ang mga fraction. And that is 1 over 4. Kasi kopyahin mo lang ang denominator. Itong mga whole number 35 minus 17 is equals to 18. So, ang answer dito ay 18 and 1 fourth. Letter C. Number 10. A receipt calls for all the liquid ingredients to be mixed together. 2 and 1 fourth cups of water, 4 and 5 eight cups of chicken stock, and 1 half cup of honey. How many cups of liquid in the receipt? I-add mo lang yan. So, 2 and 1 fourth plus 4 and 5 eight plus 1 half. Unahin natin i-add ang mga whole number and that is 6. Tapos itong mga fraction na to, hanapan natin ng least common denominator which is 8. So, 8 divided by 4 equals 2, 2 times 1 equals 2. Ito naman, ikopyahin lang kasi 8 na siya. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. So, pariho na sila ng denominator. Kopyahin lang ang denominator na 8. At i-add natin ang mga numerator. 2 plus 5 plus 4 and that is 11. So, 11 over 8 is equals to 1 and 3 over 8. So, itong 1, i-add mo sa 6 mo. Kasi mayroon man yung mga whole numbers. Ang in na lang natin ay yung fraction man. So, 1 plus 6 equals 7. Ang answer dito ay 7 and 3 over 8. Letter C. Uulitin ko para mas klaro lang. Ito ang i-add natin. Erase natin. Wait. So, ito ang i-add natin. Kung mag-add tayo ng mga fraction, dapat pariho yung mga denominators. Ang ginawa ko, in ko muna yung mga whole numbers, which is, ang total niya ay 6. Ngayon, yung mga fraction naman, ito naman yung total niya, 11 over 8. Ang 11 over 8 na improper fraction, ginawa ko siyang mix numbers. So, mayroon siyang 1 and 3, 8. Ito ang in ko dito sa 6. So, 6 plus 1 equals 7. Tapos, 3 over 8. So, ang sagot ay letter C.